Hi, my name is Denny Thompson. I'm originally from Imperial Valley of Southern California. My husband and I moved out here from California in 1998. We bought a small farm just outside of Rocky Ford and I went to work for the commissioner's office in Otero County uh, within two weeks of moving here. I currently still work there. I lost my husband in 2002 to cancer and during that year the Otero County Land uh, created the Otero County Land Trust in an effort to save the irrigation water that was leaving the uh, Otero County and the Arkansas Valley on a regular basis. Uh, you might remember the Crowley County fire that was last year that were, where we lost a couple of firefighters and several homes were burn, burned and the town of Ote uh, Ordway was almost destroyed. Well this is what the Otero County Commissioners have tried to prevent in Otero County. Uh, with, with the conservation easement program uh, their, their goal was to protect the irrigation land and the irrigation water, keep it in the valley, to protect the ecosystem and also to actually protect the, the economy of Otero County. Has the state of Colorado limited the work your appraiser did? Ultimately they have. In 2003 I donated my easement to the Otero County Land Trust. In, within two months of that time my appraisers became under review, under scrutiny actually, by the Colorado Review Appraisers uh, for GOCO. Uh, they were ultimately uh, put on probation for one year. In 2006 uh, they had been put on probation for one year, uh, completed several classes and hours of service of, of actually studies and actually they met all the requirements of that probation and so they are still now certified general appraisers However, um, their business has really suffered because of this. In um, 2005, um, after donating my easement, it was I received notice from the IRS that my donation was under review. Um, they sent me four different requests for information. I sent them everything that they had requested and then some actual other documents to substantiate my donation. And ultimately, in 2000, March of 2007, they denied it. They denied it, first of all, saying it was an invalid, it was an unqualified donation. But then, secondly, they said that if it was found to be qualified, that it had zero value. Well, there's no way with the bundle of rights that I donated that that could, could be the case. There's actually also, uh, was a case uh, closed in May of this year uh, that talks about the valuation of rights and restrictions. What position does this leave you in now? Well, it actually leaves me uh, with a conservation easement on my property with uh, restrictions that I've granted in perpetuity. Um, it leaves me with uh, tax notices with both the IRS and the state of Colorado. Um, it leaves me with uh, unable to sell or transfer any of my tax credits. I'm basically hanging in limbo right now until I get my uh, due process and my uh, appeals with the IRS and the state of Colorado. What are you trying to do now to save your land? Well actually my land is protected now under the conservation easement program um, as well as my my water. It's restricted, I'm restricted to keep that my land completely in agricultural use. Um, and the water is to forever stay with that particular piece of land. Um, however, my finances and my future are uncertain at this time. Uh, what I plan to do is I plan to stay the course, uh, pursue my appeals through the IRS, uh, find that um, my donation is a valid donation, and to uh, substantiate the value of my conservation easement um, donation to the IRS. And then ultimately um, hold the state accountable for their commitment to the conservation easement, easement tax credit program and um, hopefully then be able to move on with my life. Do you think the state of Colorado has targeted rural Colorado? Oh, I definitely think the state of Colorado has uh, targeted rural Colorado, uh, specifically southeastern Colorado. Um, when I was uh, re received in 2005, when I received notice from the IRS, uh, my agent Kurt 
Kirk Busby. I called him, and he, I was told at that time that normally they wouldn't even look at a donation of my size. Uh, however, they were asked by the state of Colorado specifically to look at our donations. Um, partially, I'm sure, because of, of my appraiser. Um, partially because I believe that they got in over their head with this whole appraisal program. Um, originally, when they started the conservation easement tax credit program in conjunction with the IRS donation, uh, the tax credit was $100,000. In 2003, it increased to $260,000, and then in 2007, it increased to $375,000. Um, it's, it's just crazy. They just didn't expect the number of people, specifically rural Coloradans, to participate in this program, when actually, if you look at it, we're the ones that it was originally designed for uh, through the federal government, and... Um, so denying us participation in it kind of uh, upset the apple cart, I guess you might say. What would you like to see the state ultimately do with the conservation easement program? Well, immediately I would like, what we are asking is that the state of Colorado put a hold on the conservation easement program and the tax credit program until all of these old issues are resolved. Mine goes back to 2003. I know there's been some from 2002. And these landowners have been forced to settle. Some of these are retired farmers that have worked all their lives on these, these lands and they've actually had to sell properties in order to uh, meet the financial burden of these, these uh, taxes and penalties that they're being sanctioned with. Um, also, we'd like to uh, We've asked the state officials to help us, and uh, as of yet, we've really not received much help through through our representatives. I mean, there some of them are trying, but we're not receiving in, any uh, resolution there. Our governor, we've written letters to the governor and uh, to our representatives. Um, right now, all of it, it's it's like it, this whole thing is on hold until they come to their final outcome. Right, the uh, Colorado Division of Real Estate and the Colorado Department of Revenue, they've set up an oversight committee to review these and their actual resolution for this is um, from what I heard, or actually not heard, but what I read in the minutes of their last meeting is that maybe we would put these landowners in buckets and uh, determine it that way. Well, as far as I'm concerned, that's depriving us of our due, due uh, process of law. It's depriving us of the appeals process and our right to uh, to justice under the legal system for, for these donations we've made. Um, I don't see how any appraiser can actually, with, with all the new rules and regulations they passed over the last few years, um, I don't see how any appraiser can, can come up with a, an appraisal value that's going to satisfy all the parties that are involved now. We have the IRS who requires the, the appraisal, the state of Colorado is looking at it, the Department of Revenue is looking at it, the Conservation Easement Oversight Committee is using it, the, um, now I, I'm understanding the tax brokers even feel that they need to be entitled to look at these uh, uh, appraisals before they transfer any tax credits to landowners. So I guess what I'd like to see is I'd like to see this come full term for us to all get our due process of law, um, for us to follow the legal system as it is designed to work um, and not circumvent it with these shortcuts of settlements and um, new regulations and applying new regulations to where they don't belong uh, seven and eight years ago. Um, that's the resolution that I'd like to see. How can we help? Well, you can, you can actually help us uh, by getting this information to everybody that you know, by calling your government, your officials, the governor, um, the, all your representatives, send letters, um, and just by supporting us, supporting us in the community, uh, understand that we're not asking for something that wasn't entitled to every citizen uh, in the state of Colorado. Uh, this tax credit program wasn't designed just for the rich and the wealthy uh, along the front range. I mean, it was originally designed to protect the farmers and, and the government. Uh, the, actually, the, the federal regulations was designed to protect the farms, and that's what I would like to see happen to it.